Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my health and wellness journey. I started the carnivore diet over a hundred days ago and now I am slowly reintroducing foods and going more animal based and seeing if it works for me. I don't plan on being on any specific diet. I don't think that there is a one size fits all for anyone. What may work for you may not work for me. So I think that the carnivore journey for me was about helping reduce my depression and anxiety and my fatigue. I had brain fog. I had bloatedness. I have microscopic colitis and thyroid issues. And my list is very long. And I got tired of not getting results from doctors, getting blood work and saying that everything was fine when it wasn't. And so when I found out about the carnivore journey, it just made sense to me to do this kind of diet has an elimination diet. I think that if you're on a journey to lose weight, then you can do the carnivore diet, but I don't think that it is probably the best way just to lose weight. I think that the carnivore diet is a great elimination diet for any autoimmune disease or any other health issues that maybe you have that the carnivore diet may help with. Of course, I am not a doctor nor a nutritionist, and this is just my journey and my journey alone that I want to share with you. Sorry, there's like this little fly around me. And starting to reintroduce foods, I recently, I talked to you about having all of a sudden this bout of anxiety. I was in the car on my way to pick up the kids and it just hit me really hard. And I hate, hate, and I use that word strongly, feeling anxiety. Because I've lived with anxiety for so many years. I've lived with anxiety since I was little. And it's always been a struggle for me to get rid of it. And so even being on the carnivore journey and more animal based now, it has not diminished 100%. But I will say that it has helped so much more than has ever helped before. And so there was two things that I was contemplating as to whether and why I was getting anxiety all of a sudden when everything else I ate was normal. Well, there were two things. I reintroduced avocado. I really do not think that it was the avocado and I'll tell you why in a second. The other thing was that I ordered from a local restaurant and I had what is uh, chicharron, which is like a fried um, pork belly. And more than likely, they fried that in canola oil or a seed oil, right? Because that's usually the oils that they use in the restaurants. And so I just have to keep an eye on that and be aware and realize that I just may not be able to eat certain things when I go out to eat at a restaurant. And as much as that sucks, that is my life. Because the anxiety I got, I really do think that that's what it was um, that triggered it. And it's crazy. So the first day I had probably like three or four little pieces about this big. And the next day I was okay. The next day I had one little small piece of it because I just felt off and I didn't want to continue to eat it. So I didn't. And then the next day after that is when I got the anxiety. So it's really, really hard to say, but I really do think that that may be what triggered it because I've had the conversation with you before when I had literally this size Okay, no joke of a croqueta. And I had anxiety the next day. So I'm thinking that it is the oils, the oils that people cook with. And we don't realize the effects that it can do and the harm that it can do on your body until you start to do an elimination diet like the one that I've done. And so yesterday I had avocado and today I've been fine and I've had a lot of energy and I've cleaned half of the house already and um, doing laundry and I'm just doing all the things inside the house today and I still feel really really good thank the heavens thank the universe um, that I am not feeling <clears throat> that overwhelming anxiety that I felt yesterday so let's cross your fingers for me knock on wood that today will continue to be a beautiful and blessed day it's beautiful outside today so I came out here today to talk to you and just give you a quick rundown of what I think it was that caused my anxiety. So if you have and you suffer from anxiety, 
my advice to you is <clears throat> to definitely look at your nutrition and an eliminated elimination diet is going to help you pinpoint what may be triggering your anxiety. Now, with that said, I don't think that nutrition alone is going to solve somebody's anxiety fully because anxiety has a lot of factors. Anxiety has your environment, the people that you're around, uh, situations with your family or friends or stress from work, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, right? And so these are things that are part of our minds and our mental states. And so a lot of it also has to do with how we react to things and how we adjust to the surroundings around us. And so I definitely think that I, the days that I feel a little anxious, it's due to stress and other factors in my life. And it's something that I am slowly working on. I am slowly healing my mind and body. Today, for example, I woke up and I got the kids breakfast ready and I was just really tired and I went and I laid back down. And I don't even know why because I could still hear the kids going and then the baby woke up and I really did not want to work out and I wasn't planning on pressing play and working out. But I said, no excuses. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get yoga in today. I'm going to get my body moving, moving. And I felt absolutely amazing after. So to those who also do not like to work out, do not like to move your body, I highly recommend getting outside, getting some vitamin D, walking around, even if it's around your block for a couple times, for a couple minutes, get your body moving. If you don't like yoga, that is fine. You can do other types of workouts. There are so many different workouts that you can do from home or you can join a gym or a class. There are so many options that you can do. And I posted the other day on my Twitter feed about working out, spending money on your health and your fitness is not an expense. It's an investment. It's an investment to yourself, for your body, for your mind, and for the people that love you and surround you. Because if you are not the best you that you can be right now, then you need to take a step back and see what you can do to change that frame of mind and what you can do to better yourself and your health and how you feel. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to live every single day with anxiety. I do not want that depression that I had before I started carnivore. I do not want that depression to come back. I couldn't even handle the 10 minutes of anxiety I had yesterday. So that says a lot. So let's take a deep breath in. Let it all out. Today is a new day. So if your day so far has not been going good, remember that every minute counts and you are the only one that can control the change of your day. Don't let anybody ruin it. Work on yourself, work on your health like I am, and I hope that you are enjoying my videos and that they are informative to you and that they help, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and follow along. Comments, love to hear your comments as well. And I will see you again tomorrow.